please hit subscribe. Hello, this PD Nan Zulu with Sasha. Uh, today I did get my uh, my interface. It's the uh, stepper interface that you can put up aftermarket in the SDA 100 controller for uh, tuning the controller with the VFO of the radio. Let's get uh, back to work to put it in there. Take, uh, take off the cover. about that and uh, of course with that we need a key cable it's the eye cable well okay put the whole thing back together now you go to setup hope you can see it and you check for transceiver setup as you see, I got already put it up uh, uh, 19.2 in, 19.2 out, and I choose the FT9000D, and that stands for the 2000, 1000, 2000, and 5000, and the 9000. So, okay, we have to select. Don't forget to hold this button. It's saving the uh, configuration. Put it back in the normal position. Push on the auto track. So this is this is manually, and this is with auto track. So we are on 14.200, and let's go up a little bit. I still go up and you see it's moving with me on the frequency and I got it uh, set up to uh, 25 kilohertz steps I can I think I can edit it as well transceiver set band limit auto track settings so you can go in 10 steps uh, 10 kilohertz step let me see if I go down to. So it means I'm on 250. Here I'm 250. When I go below 240 and 260, it goes with me. Check. Easy, easy to set up. So, turn it off, it's manually. Turn it on, 
and it goes by. So let me change the band. I push uh, um, a 50 meter. It goes to 50 meter. You see? Back to 20 meter. Goes back to 20 meter. So that's great. So I got the radio connected to the data in with the Y cable, and it goes out to the interface. And the interface, of course, is with the USB to the computer. Why I, why, I did, why I need that interface cable, I can tell you when I push, but when I do that VFO button, I need this also for my log program. So that's why we need a Y cable. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. See you next time, 7.3, and please hit subscribe.